I call my first witness. <laughs> Name? Dave Lister. Occupation? <laughs> uh, Bum. <laughs> Would you describe the accused as a friend? Take the fifth. Now, please answer the question. <laughs> Remember, you are under polygraphic surveillance. Would you describe the accused as a friend? No, I'd describe the accused as a git. <laughs> who would you say, then, is the person who thinks of him most fondly? I do. Hmm. And are there no others who've shared moments of intimacy with him? Only one, but she's got a puncture. <laughs> Objection! Overruled. So you wouldn't describe him as a man with a good social life? No. He parted less than Rudolf Hess. <laughs> he was totally dedicated to his career. He was in charge of Z Shift, you see, and it occupied his every waking moment. And what was Z Shift's most important duty? Well, we had a lot of important duties on the ship, but I guess our most vital responsibility was making sure the vending machines didn't run out of front size crunchy bars. <laughs> Can you ever envisage a situation where the lack of honeycomb centered chocolate bars might be the direct cause of a lethal radiation leak? <laughs> Not off the top of my head, no. Uh, you may sit down. I ask the court one key question. Would the space car ever have allowed this man to be in a position of authority where he might endanger the entire crew? A man so petty and small-minded, he would while away his evenings sewing name labels onto his ship-issue condoms. <laughs> such awesome stupidity. Objection. Objection overruled. A man of such awesome stupidity, he even objects to his own defense counsel. An, <laughs> an overzealous, trumped-up little squirt. Objection. Overruled. An incompetent vending machine repairman with a Napoleon complex, who commanded as much respect and affection from his fellow crew members as Long John Silver's parrot. Objection. <laughs> If you object to your own counsel once more, Mr. River, you'll be in contempt. Who would permit this man, this joke of a man, this man who could not outwit a used tea bag, to be in a position where he might endanger the entire crew? Who? Only a yogurt. <laughs> this man is not guilty of manslaughter. He is only guilty of being Arnold J. Rimmer. That is his crime. It is also his punishment. <laughs> the defense rests. Verdict on the defendant will now be passed. In view of your counsel's eloquent defense, together with the reams of material evidence he submitted on computer card, this court accepts that, in your case, the mind probe is not an adequate method of ascertaining guilt. It is not possible for you to have committed the crimes for which you blame yourself, and you may therefore go free. Objection! Sir, what are you objecting to now? I want an apology. 